he just said are you doing a video on my boots yeah if it's any good if it works might ruin his boots in which case you won't be seeing a video on them um we've got a problem with these chinchillas and it's called hand sanitizer doesn't do these hand painted hand burnished chinchillas any good whatsoever and i didn't take a picture before i did anything to them but you see that little spot there that little light patch that is what hand sanitizer's done i've taken off the polishing and some dirt and staining that was on these boots and i'm ready now just to try to get a little bit of color back i'm going to concentrate first on that spot with a little bit of dye because i need to put more color in than the shoe creams would give me so a little bit of burgundy dye on this particular boot and I'm using a cotton bud to apply it tiny little bit. So I've dabbed the cotton bud in the dye and then took most of it back off. And then I'm just gently going to pad or tap that around there and get some colour back in. And I don't know what it'll be like when it's eventually done. I'm hoping it's going to be okay. Now... That's just on that light patch. Of course, I need to put more colour into this whole area and then the same on this boot. So I'm going to do the same now that I've concentrated a little bit there where it's needed more on the whole of the boot. So put some dye on the brush and then take most of it off because I just don't want to soak it. And I'm just going to gently brush in and get some colour back onto this upper. Careful to keep away from the welt, of course, because the welt on these is a natural finish. Now, the whole process, I'm hoping if it turns out well, if it doesn't, you're not gonna see it. If it doesn't, I might have to buy him a pair of boots. He who remains anonymous, of course, because if I show you who it is, and he's a very well-known person around these parts. But I consider it an invasion of privacy. That's why you hardly ever, very rarely see anyone public in our videos. Because it's your private. We don't want to post. Anyway, you see how this is coming now, just with a little bit, very lightly, of dye. I'm getting the colour back in to that upper. And then the next part of this process, when this is done and dry, is going to be burgundy shoe cream and then mahogany shoe dye, because that will work very well with this particular colour boot. So, back in a little while, when we start to put the cream onto this boot and buff. So, on with the colour restoration on this pair, and you'll notice I've used masking tape just to protect the welt there, so I can be a little bit more liberal with the creams and polishes that I start to use. And I've put most of the cream on this upper, just the last little bit to do, and I'm using burgundy, because it's a burgundy boot. So, burgundy sapphire cream, remember, there's more colour pigment in a cream than there is in a wax. And the last little bit of cream applied there, and then if you saw that last video I did where I colour restored, cleaned and polished a pair of these in cognac colour, the polish, the creams are applied with this little finger cloth and then it's buffed with the flat of the hand. So, onto the buffing part, I'm going to get that done and in the meantime, I'll come back and show you the finished pair, but that's well on its way already now. Here's one I did earlier. Look at that. And this is the one, if you remember, that had that little white spot there that the sanitizer had taken the colour off. So this has been cleaned, colour restored. I've used a light brown or a tan colour cream on the welt and the sole edges, the heel stack there. I've used the burgundy cream on the whole of the boot, the whole of the upper, and get this, black. Black polish on the toe and the heel counter there just to effect that burnishing so that is as close to original as it could be in terms of colour and polish it's polished to a higher shine than they would be new original from the factory but again the only thing I've used to polish these to buff them is the flat of the hand 
So I'm going to finish this one now and then I'll come back to you and hopefully get these as close as possible matching and we'll show you the finished pair in a short time. Okay, finished. This beautiful pair of RM Williams Burgundy Chinchilla. Remember that these had quite a bit of dirt and staining and colour loss and they had a white spot there caused by total colour loss with hand sanitizer. Now, I think better than new. Has to be better than new because these have got a lovely bit of patina and shine and creasing that gives character. Um, so how did I do that? Remember the first thing I'll always do when cleaning and polishing shoes is put some good well-fitting shoe trees in to take those creases out so we can clean out the creases, polish into the creases. I used, always use Safia the brand because the colour range and the quality of their products second to none and on this particular pair of boots from start to finish shoe trees in i used renomat safia renomat which is a mild solvent to take away dirt and staining and it also removes some of the color and then i've put some permanent color back in with some burgundy shoe dye applied with a cotton bud and a brush polishes then after the dyeing and I put that dye on very loosely just a light wash not over the whole boot just where I needed to put more and permanent colour. I then used burgundy cream. Burgundy cream for the upper. Mahogany wax which has got a strong burgundy hue for the upper. I then went over the toe and the heel counter with black polish, black wax on a burgundy shoe to effect and maintain that nice burnished finish. On the sole edges, because it's a natural sole edge finish, I use the tan cream, all saffy remember, and then finish the sole edges for a little bit better weather protection with the tan wax. Number three that is by the way, number eight burgundy. So start to finish, that's one pair of boots, I'm sure a very happy customer. Um, Using neutral creams and waxes and polishes on these heavily burnished chinchilla boots is only good when they're new and there's no staining, there's no marks, there's no scuffs. When you need to restore colour, you need to put colour back in. And this is how I've done it. Check out the one, if you've not seen it already, that I did previously on our YouTube channel on cleaning and restoring the cognac colour, lighter colour than this. And um, I'm sure some of you guys will find this very interesting. Thank you for watching, if you've watched until the end. And um, keep an eye out for more of the same or similar. We'll see you soon.